Good morning, YouTubers. So, my breakfast is cooking on my, um, Sterno Inferno stove. And I have placed it on top of the heat mate stove heater that is actually closed up for storage right now. Um, there's the fuel canister is sealed, but I'm just using it as a stand because it's off the floor in the minivan. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I've gotten my new um, pack stove from Simple Theory Gear. And here's my new pack stove. Woohoo, hoo yoo hoo yoo And this is a multi-fuel stove that happens to fit down inside. I have an old set of Ozark Trail pots that are like really big mugs. They're tall and skinny. And it fits right inside, and I can put the lid on top of this. And I believe it's going to fit inside the inner pot as well. I don't know if the lid will fit as well, but we'll see when I dig that out. Um... Anyways, I'm very excited to use that new stove, but I haven't started using it yet. So um, probably later today I'll do some videos just because I'm excited. I wanted to briefly show you that inside the minivan, once I removed the... I have a 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan minivan that had stow-and-go seats, or has two sew-and-go seats. Two of them, the rear ones, are still in the back. This is one of the storage compartments that used to hold a seat. And because it's in the floor and covered, it really is a little insulated um, so that my food storage items, my pantry, is not in the sunshine. And so um, I do have this small thermal bag, which it's cool when we... It's cool when you can get them, but they're often really large. And this one I got at a 99 cent store. No, I did not. I got it at a Dollar Tree. Um, but it was smaller than the normal one. Anyways, I just love that bag. But um, I sometimes use it when I go in the grocery store to get some things or if I want to get something special for a special meal. But I'm able to just lay it over the top of this stuff underneath the floor panel which um, folds down. It's hinged in like four sections or five sections. And I'm able to just keep storage under the floor here, which is fabulous. And um, yes, I have Khalifa Farms uh, almond coconut half and half right now that has no sugar. I have, see, I have sweet potatoes. I have shallots. Um, I have, that bag is powdered eggs and, and powdered, dehydrated eggs, whole eggs, and dehydrated spinach. I have teas. Yes, I have a little instant coffee right now, um, and some lemonade packs that have a teensy bit of sugar in them. I will stop. As soon as I finish those, I will stop. I'm, I'm going back to no caffeine and no sugar again. I think I'm healthier there. I have not visited the doctor yet to find out exactly what's going on with my my health issue from getting so sick at Thanksgiving and just not getting better and then being in the hospital. But we'll get an update on that soon enough. Right there, that can is some um, a, a two pack of Sterno that I can buy at Walmart. That happens to be a little thermos that allows me to do some cold soaking things. Lentils, I could boil them in the morning and put them into that. And for lunch or dinner, they're they're a soup um, because it's a very inexpensive soup thing. These are Talenti, the brown lidded things. Talenti uh, ice cream containers. Talenti has some non-dairy ice creams that for a little while I was really in love with. But it has too much sugar and I shouldn't have sugar. Um, anyways, but I have repurposed them as canisters and they double stack inside this space very well. So there's two layers and um, that top one has dandy blend in it because the bag was too annoying to deal with. But um, yeah, long, long shelf life tofu, um, miso, somewhere over there there's a bag of quinoa, I don't use that stuff really often. I'd rather do the Whole Foods. I'd rather do the 
the uh, sweet potatoes, some cauliflower once in a while. I'd rather do lentils or black beans. Um, they digest better for me. Anyways, but that's that's what I'm doing for food storage today. And in my life, you, if you know me well, Lisa changes things a lot. And um, right now, okay, let's see. If I pan this, the back of this seat had um, little hooks for hanging a bag. So that makes a trash bag. For the moment, this is my, it's a shopping bag um, that folds up into a keychain. But lately, I've been using it when I go to a store as if it was like a pocketbook or a tote bag or something. And yes, I always have an atlas with me. And that's a little messy right now, now that I'm showing that. But it's what it is. And then there's the door. There's the uh, wires going up to the solar panel to charge my battery pack but the battery pack right now is in a different spot side door side door side door and um there's where my phone sits often and okay you even see a little money over there <laughs> i have a battery operated candle and there's my morning dandy blend coffee oh well coffee substitute drink this morning um and there's the battery pack and um my curtain project and stuff and my bowl. I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. And um, we will talk soon. There will be way more stuff to show you. But for the moment, this is the way I'm storing things. Um, at some point in my life before I get too uh, challenged to do much more uh, traveling or something, if my age or my health makes it so that I can't at some point. Um, I would really like to have a Jeep chapter in my life. I haven't had that yet. So I'm hoping someday to switch to a Jeep. And I don't know what that means yet. My uh, dream vehicle would be a four-door Jeep with a um, Ursa Minor top on it. Uh, it would have to be automatic. But um, it would be similar to the one that the Road Chose Me guy has, um, where he actually cut his his um, roll cage and re, re, uh, repositioned it so that he has all the walk-around space inside of it. That would be my dream setup. Uh, a few things different because I am a minimalist and I would like to do some more long distance hiking. Anyways, that's all I'm giving you. Seven minutes. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Uh, keep it simple and travel light and often, guys. <laughs>